Well, this is pretty cool. A fun summer tradition is back in full swing in Hobart. Johnson's Farm Re Pro Produce is opening up its grounds for families to come and pick their own strawberries. And owner Jennifer Johnson joins us right now to talk about it out in her field. <laughs> Jennifer, thanks so much. What you, how, much, how much land do you have there anyway? Hi, thank you for having me. We have 350 acres here on this farm. Well, that's, about 50 of our up strawberries. That is fantastic. So uh, strawberry you pick season is upon us. And so tell us, tell us sort of how it works there when families come out to enjoy what you have to offer. Yeah, so we were supposed to open last weekend and we had to push it back a week because of that crazy cold we had. Um, and now we, it is prime time. They practically jump in your bucket. So tomorrow's the first day for a you pick opening. We call it VIP day. So if they <laughs> get an email or a Facebook from us, they can come tomorrow before the crowds. And then we open the fields up on Saturday for the regular season. And then after that, we're open every day for you pick. But well, on the weekends, the fun farm is open as well. Jennifer, hopefully you can help me out and everybody watching. You know, I always have a tough time picking the best strawberries. I don't know if I should go for extra red, you know, kind of on the light side. What's the best way to know if that strawberry is going to be really sweet and which strawberry to go for? So you want to pick them when they're all the way red and not green on the tip because they don't continue to ripen off your vine. Um, and so you're just going to kind of look. I don't know if you guys can see here. There, if I just pull this, you can see there's some that are green and some that are half green. You want to get the ones that are all the way red when you pick them. Got it. They all look good to me, Jennifer. <laughs> they, they really do. So what are you bracing for? I mean, how many people can you accommodate at one time and there will be any restrictions at all? Or, and how long will this go on? Well, we have a lot of room and we're all outside here. So we can accommodate thousands and thousands of people. Um, we don't have any restrictions in our county as far as mask wearing, but we do continue to sanitize and to promote distancing. And, you know, if people want to wear a mask, they're more than welcome. Um, we had a vaccine clinic in the store for our staff. And so we feel like we're, you know, being safe for everyone. You what? have some really beautiful grounds there. I they mean, do. it's just gorgeous. Jennifer, did you shoot the drone video? It's great. Thank you. I didn't. Someone else did, but thank you. It is good. It's fantastic. <laughs> Hey, if, if some, the... I'm sorry to interrupt, but if somebody is interested, I, I know I'm hungry just watching the, uh, the video, but uh, if somebody wants to get involved and learn more information about you, where do they, where do they go? So they can either go to our website, johnsonsfarmproduce.com, or we have a Facebook or um, Instagram. We have a large following, and we keep that up to date daily with picking conditions, times, <laughs> you know, rain, all the questions that you can imagine we post on there daily. All right, Jennifer Johnson, thank you so much for joining us here on First at Four. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Take good care. luck this weekend, too.